What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be reviewing Mac X DVD Ripper Pro. Now, these guys actually sent me this for free, it's called, the company is Mac X. And yeah, so when they sent me this, I asked them to give me some codes to give away to you guys too. Now, if you've been following my channel for long enough, I actually reviewed one of their softwares a couple of months ago. And now they asked me to do it again. And this time, I got 10 more codes for this piece of software. So with that being said, I am doing 10 code giveaways. So, the way you enter, we will put again, hashtag CSMacX. Yeah, we'll go to that. Hashtag CSMacX in the comments below and you have five days and then I'll reveal the winner. So one, two, three, four, five. The winner will be revealed on Monday the 15th of December. So there you go. That's it. Time to review the program. Okay, so let's get into reviewing this program. Now, the first thing I actually like about this is the UI. The same as their last piece of software they gave me. It is exact same interface and it's just really simple to get around and work around and as you can see it's pretty simple what you gotta do you even got your steps right here so click dvd button to load a dvd step two choose one output format and then step three go ahead and click run button to start your conversion so there you go it's very simple to do and yeah let's get into it so here it's telling us to click this now i actually don't have a disc in at the moment but you'd click a down arrow here and you'd click this here go ahead and click ok well, I can't click it because I don't have a DVD disc in, but you click OK. And then after that, you'd have to choose your format and then go ahead and click the run button, which is right here. Now here we've got something called the ISO image, an ISO file. Now you can see you need to have the file only in dot .ISO and they're pretty easy to find. So yeah, if you know what you're doing, then you should have it. Okay, so you can see at the top here, we got something called folder and you can see it says browse and select the DVD folder path. So you have to find out where the DVD is and along with the path for the DVD. It's pretty simple and self-explanatory. So let's say you got loads of stuff here and it's just a bit of a mess and you don't really like it. Go ahead and click clear and everything's gone. Now finally we can go ahead to options. Basic right here. You got the audio language. You can see it's actually covered quite a lot of languages. We've actually got open the output folder when finished the conversion jobs. So that's pretty good. So when you actually finish your output or the, what is it, the converting, then the folder will open just like Sony Vegas. And then here we got shut down computer when finished the conversion job. So let's say you have got a big file to convert. This is pretty good because then it will shut down. You can do it overnight and it will shut down automatically once it's done. Now here we got check for update, so you can choose that wherever you want to. Then we got an output folder, so you can choose where you want the output to go. So I just choose my desktop, and you can see there. Now you can also take snapshots, and we'll get into that in a minute. And you can choose where you would like that to go to. Okay, so here you got a destination folder, and if we go ahead and click browse, we can choose where we want to save it to. So it's currently on my desktop. Um, let's say, just for example, I want to change it by MC server, then the world. Uh, we'll just save it there. I'm just clicking anything and there you go you can actually see it does come here now onto this part here so when you insert your disc here you will get the video playback right here so you got the play button the pause button this right here is the snapshot button and if we go back to the options you can see here snapshot folder so this is where your snapshot save to so you go ahead and click that and it'll snapshot whatever is right here here we've got the folder and it'll just tell you where the snapshots is so you can see it's taking me to my pictures and here you can choose any of these so save mode and it'll tell you what it's about here <clears throat> and then we got use a high quality engine which probably you might want to use and then here we got deinterlacing and this is up to you if you use it now here we've also got cpu core use so it's actually using all six of mine and it's totally up to you to pick but obviously the more you use the slower your cpu will actually be now up here we have this right here which just tells you you are a registered user you can see i'm a registered user right here and then go ahead and close like that we've got this right here which just tells you some information and if you get any stuck on anything you can send them an email and you can view their file log which is like that and then finally we've got a question mark up here which is a help button and of course where you can just change your language 
quick. And there's one last thing you can see here, check for update, go ahead and click that. And I am actually not on the latest version, I'm on 7.6.3 and 7.6.4 is right here. And I just got to update to that by clicking learn more. And it should take me to the internet like so. And there you go, you can see it's a free download. I can go ahead and download that. But yeah, overall, I think it is a great software. The conversion time is actually pretty fast as well, just like their last software, which was actually a video converter. That was pretty fast, and I actually still have that right here, if you, if I show you. You can see right here is their video converter. So you can see right here, this was their video converter. You see, they literally have the exact same UIs, and they're really good to work around. The video converter I still use because it's really fast. And it's probably the fastest one out there. That's not even a lie. That is what I personally think. So like I said, I asked them if they could give me some codes to give away to you guys. And of course, they have given me 10 codes. So with that being said, comment hashtag CSMACX in the comments below to be entered in this giveaway. And then on Monday the 15th of December, let me just double check that. Monday the 15th of December, yes it is. I'll be revealing the 10 winners of who wins the license code and yes it is a full license code to this software right here even if you don't like it then you can still enter because you can win it well you can just get this software it's usually it's usually about forty dollars i think so yeah you can get it for free and save yourself some money but yeah that is it for this video thank you so much for watching be sure to follow me on twitter and like my facebook page as i post gaming news and technology news daily also be sure to check out my gaming channel where i'll post daily Check out my FIFA channel I'll post daily, and finally be sure to add me on Snapchat, or I'll just show you what I do throughout my day. So yes, being casual savage here, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you do like this software, and good luck to all of those who will be entering this giveaway. Please subscribe, rate, and peace. Grab a mic, kill the stage, yeah, second nature now Mama said I make a prayer, I told her I made a prayer